Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, my dreamers. I'm so happy that you're here. And today is gonna be a Dollar Tree haul. Surprise, surprise! Yes, Dollar Tree haul. Everything I'm sharing is a dollar twenty-five each, and it is from both of my local Dollar Trees. So it's like a little combo, okay? So the first things first, um, I want to show you some of the new furry fabrics. If you're looking for furry fabrics, they have some new ones that are different from the original ones that I shared with you before. So the original ones look like this, that they're longer, they have a much longer style, okay? Now they have these that are more compact, almost like teddy bear, teddy bear kind. Um, so these are really cool. So they have two different variations that you could pick from for your projects. This was the original from like, I want to say one or two hauls ago. So check those out if you need something a little bit bigger. And then for those that need something a little bit smaller, they have the faux fur and the brown, this beautiful blue and purple. They had, I think they had like three more colors, but these are just the three that I wanted to work with. And I thought that they were, oh, if you touch these, these are so soft. They are amazing. They're so soft. Good. I'm telling you, they're super soft. You're just going to want to pick them up and just grab them just because they're so soft and just walk around the store with them in your hand. They're that soft, honey. Okay, let me put these over here. Then um, in the, I'm going to jump over into the autumn department. I did pick these up because I thought they were super cute. And I'm thinking about where I want to put them. And they're the Hello Pumpkin with a little hook. So it has a little string right there. And then you have your little hook where you can put your keys. And then they had this, they had the one that says Give Thanks. So Hello Pumpkin and Give Thanks. They both have the little black hook right there. And they, they're hung up by the string. I thought they were just so charming. So cute for $1.25, you guys. Adorable. Uh, dorbs. So this has got to go downstairs. Let me put this over here. That's got to go downstairs. Then um, in the Christmas department, I only picked up one thing and it's this. And I thought it was so pretty. It has that worn wood look and it says Holly and Jolly. Great little black and white bow. And you got your greenery in the back and it does have the string so you can hang it off of, you know, your wreath, your tree, you know, whatever you want to use it on. I have plans for this. <laughs> it's not going to be on a wreath. It's not going to be on a tree. It's something different. They have three different variations of this as far as colors. I picked out this particular one. Um, I am planning on picking up, you know, little Christmas stuff here and there each time I go, but this is the one that I chose because I know what I want to use it for. And you guys will see it if you want to subscribe so you can see the stuff that I make with it, okay? Because I do show you what I make with the things that I buy, okay? Then in the um, crafting department, I know, it's like I'm trying to get myself together, honey. I still, I'm still trying to do it. Oh, and I am doing Vlogtober. I, I'm doing it. No, seriously. I know it's going to be hard. To, I know. <laughs> I don't know. What did I sign up for? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to definitely try. Now, I we started yesterday, Me, um, Karen and I, I should say, correct English. Karen and I, we did our first October yesterday. We had a lot of fun on there. If you want to go check it out under Cousin Chats and underneath our live, you have to go to our live tab and you'll find it there. And um, we had a great time, but we're going to do uh, another one today for day two, but then we're going to do, you know, ones ourselves. So just heads up. All right. Now in the crafter square, they have the really pretty pink little flowers. It's a 24 count. Okay. So they have a pink and a white and a nut, a dark pink It's a nice variation for a dollar 25. Hello. Oh, and I did get two Michael's $10 grab bags, not bags, but boxes today. 
So be on the lookout. I will be doing a video for that. You guys know I've gotten some amazing boxes previously. Um, I only picked out two this time, you know, because it, it adds up, you know, whether it was $21 and, and some change after taxes. Um, but I only picked up two. So be alert. Your Michaels might have the $10 grab boxes available right now. I did post it on my community page to give everybody an opportunity to check out your stores. Okay. Then this is the next one, this beautiful blue, light blue and white. Really pretty. And then the all white. All of them are 24 count. So these are going to be a lot of fun to use. And for $1.24, sign me up, honey. Sign me up. Now, if you guys know, I shared with you. I don't know if I could bring it out over here because I have things right there. Everything is going to collapse. I just know it. I shared with you my beautiful pens, right? Okay. These were kits um, that I got from Timu. I did a separate video for Timu. And then I also did a video for the beading. I didn't show all of them. It was like, I was like, wow, I didn't show all of them. And I just, you know, shared doing one or two or three. But they do have some beads that work there at Dollar Tree. So if I want to change things up, I can. Okay. Because you need beads with a bigger hole to slide down the metal. Okay. So super cute. I'll try to put the Timu haul up here in the eye in the sky just tap it it's going to be in a circle with an eye then i'll drop down where the comment section is and you'll see the video after you know this ends you can go check it out and see what i shared and i have some um what was called brahmin brahmin uh fashion dupe handbags from timu that are all over the runways right now gorgeous and I will be doing a separate video switching my stuff over into one of my new handbags because it's time to do the switch. I might try to do a video for it. But here are the beads. So this is an option for your beadable pens if you want to switch things up and change them up. Besides your own beads, your glass beads, your ceramic beads, they have that larger style opening. Then I got the black. Again, these are great for the, for those pens because of the larger you see that larger style opening right here that's what you need that style opening so i got those so i can update and play around with my pens and have fun it's super exciting dollar 25 each awesome awesome sauce now i'll give you an example uh i just shared my happy planner right yesterday I did my layout. Let me see if I can pull it out. Okay. This is my layout for October. I haven't written in it yet because I, I knew I was going to show it again. But these were the Timu papers that I shared on that video. And that's my layout. And I show you how I did it. But give me a second. I'm showing you all that for a reason. I shared with you also that I made these clips. Okay. I made these clips with that same paper but you see that nice pretty shiny paper in the back that's from dollar tree from this kit right here what's well, not a kit it's from this that's pretty shiny gold paper comes from here so these are the clips that i that i created this is a dollar tree calendar for 2024 and it has stickers and everything else i showed this a couple of hauls back go check it out and I made the clips out of um, the little whales from Dollar Tree. I just spruced them up so then I can use them in my different books, okay, for my Halloween. And I want to do a Halloween, um, a little monthly too. So I'm going to work on that. But this pack has all the different colors. I've shared this before and I've been using it and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so I, they finally brought it back. I haven't seen it for a while. And I just want to show you the different colors. Green, blue, silver, red, gold, and then the two, this one. So you get several colors in here for your projects. 
And again, for the price, you really just can't beat it. And it's giving me exactly what I need. I don't need like a huge stack, paper paper stack of it. At least not, not now, not yet. Maybe I will going closer to uh, Christmas. I don't know. But I've been using it and I needed another one. Okay. Then I also picked up, because I was sewing, not, was it yesterday, last night? It was either last night or the night before I was sewing and um, they they brought back the embroidery needle bundle. So they look like this. OK, so they have a pink and white, blue and white, and then this really pretty floral. Now, what it is is super convenient. I mean, really convenient. So while you're obviously doing your thing, you can put this just like this. And then you put your pen in there while you're moving stuff around and shifting. You put, yeah, that's what it's for. So you can put your pen and not lose it and not have to go back into your sewing kit over and over again. You can put your pen right here. So it has that nice stretchable, okay, because I have a big wrist. And this one's even bigger. <laughs> that one's even bigger and you can see it's still very comfortable. So they look like that, okay. So I was happy to see these. So I got them because I was sewing. Uh, I was sewing up some, um, I was mending some clothes. I was fixing the stuffed animals. The head started to come off. Some, you know, some um, underwear that the top was starting to get off from the cotton. I started sewing those, some holes and some shirts, you know. I had a little stack, so I was hand sewing. Okay. So that's going to be great for next time. I still have a few pieces I have to finish, so I can use this for that. All right, then I got some more punching tools. Okay, I got some more because I have two. I do, but um, my boys were using it in their arts and crafts supply um, little rolly card I created for them. So I got myself another set. These are great. Whenever you need to make any, you know, sharp little, little punches, including in beads or anything else. This is fabulous for that. It's great. Then in the, um, sticker department, I got two, only two stickers. Let me see. Yeah. I only got two stickers. I'm trying to make sure I don't repeat myself. Uh, this is the 15 piece and the 11 piece sticker paper crafts and they are in this beautiful autumn motif. So we have these gorgeous leaves that are available if you're making cards, if you're doing your planner, or if you just like to decorate your notebooks, or if you're decorating your Bible journal, where you like to write as you do your Bible study, whatever. I just think decorating anything that you're writing on, including notes, your diaries, anything at all, um, your gratitude journal, it's just nice. And I love fall, and these were just so pretty. They were so pretty. I had to get them. I'm going to use them too. Okay. Then I did find these Jot pencil grips. They are a six piece. So they actually slide through the pencil. So I'm gonna give these a go. And I thought they're very interesting. I've never seen those there before. Yeah. So I have pencils here, the really pretty ones. Um, I got all my fabrics here. I'm trying to be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> I got these pretty pencils that you click and then they come out. And I wanna see if I can like slide maybe that like pink one or that purple one in there. And then I'll give the rest to the boys for their pencils when they do homework here at home. So there you go. I wonder if I could do it right now. Let's see what it looks like because it's kind of different looking. I know I'm so curious. I just, I don't even want to wait. I don't want to wait. Is this even worth a dollar 25? I don't know. Let's find out together. Let's figure this out because you might want to get this or you might not. Here, I got my little scissors. I got my scissors. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's one. So they are, okay, so they, they look like that. Oh, and they're rubbery. Okay, so it should not be a problem trying to put this on. It should not. 
basically if you just basically undo it and you almost like undo it and then start there at the bottom it'll just wrap itself around see that wow okay that was easy yes and it feels nice because see i have a little arthritis in my hands i have them on my knees and then that's already starting to bulge up you see that like got arthritis and um you know when they're really thin i got a problem i have to have some thicker now so there you go yeah i recommend it they feel good i recommend it there you go glad i tried it now also in the craft department i did get some fabrics they have some new fabrics and i got excited because why when it starts to get cold, I just hunker in most of the time. I only go out once or twice a week. Um, you know, I go out every day, drop off the kids. But you know what I mean? I just, you know, hustle back home and I kind of sit tight. Because so when it gets really cold, my um, my arthritis kicks in and my knees like really get bad and my hands get really bad. And uh, yeah, so I'm just, you know, getting ready for projects that I want to do for my miniatures. And I love this fabric right here. This beautiful polka dot. So vibrant. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. So I figured I could do some fun things. Maybe even little curtains, little cute curtains for like a kid's room, a boy's room. Because I have several houses. And I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be changing things up in here. So my background's going to be different. I'm going to be switching up things and I'm looking forward to it. Here, let me put this over here with my fabrics. Then this one was really cute too. I thought it would be cute as a little sheet. So let me take, always take off this because that will mess up your fabric if you leave it on there. The glue will start to stick to, stick to it. And girl, you don't want that. Trust, trust and believe. You do not want that. Um, here we go. Look how nice that is. And all these are a flannel. They're not, they're not like cotton. They're a flannel thicker style. So again, a really nice, pretty vibrant. You could do lots of things with this, but I, this is going to be, I think mainly for dollhouse miniatures, possibly something else for my grandbaby. I haven't decided yet because you know, when you have ideas for things, I just got to see. Okay. Here's the other one trying to do it really quick and I kind of I have some foodie items I want to share with you just a handful of like yeah now okay this one has an animal theme okay if you're looking for something like this if you're quilting or doing any other little cute projects or trying to make some cute blocks for a bedroom as far as a fun little you know little and then you just put this right in a frame little animal theme bright colors. I thought that that was really cute too. I actually thought about cutting out because it has elephants, hippos, lions, almost like the line from like the little story. What's the story for that little lion? There's a storybook that has a lion that looks like that. It has snakes. It has everything. Everything. I thought about actually cutting out certain pieces to see if I can make them look like a uh, like pieces that I can hang off of like a dollhouse wall. Then this one is just a basic blue that I thought would be lovely as a sheet on a bed or even a baby crib, a dollhouse miniature baby crib, which I do have. Um, and it's just your basic blue. So, and, it's, and it matches with everything. It matches with all the rest of the ones. So I thought it was important to get a nice basic color and then the last piece of fabric and I do have like two beauty items as well to share with you I got from the beauty department all right yeah so that's why I buy these fabrics and I start listing down my ideas because I know I'm going to hunker down once it starts getting a little cold and nippy and you know I just know my body and it allows me to do stuff here at home Okay, so here's that little fun little tiger. What story is this little tiger from? I need to know. <laughs> so cute. This is so stinking cute. And it's so bright and vibrant. I love it. It just makes you smile. 
That little line just makes you want to smile. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. I did pick up this Jot Glitter Ruler because I do have a straight edge that's metal, but the boys put it in their rolly cart, so I found this really pretty glitter one that I can use. So let me see where do I want to put my glitter one. I'll put it right here. Okay. Then in the beauty department, they had uh, two new Ioni stuck on you nail glues. This one is the Ultra Hold, and it does have a pink rose color to it. So then you'll be able to see where you're placing that glue because it's going to have a pink tone to it. Okay. And this one is the clear. If you know what you're doing, you, you got some mad, crazy confidence, no issues, no problems, and you're not new to it. This one is the Ultra Hold and Quick Dry, and it is clear. So this one has the pink, so you can see where it's going, and it is considered an ultra hold, okay? And then you got your clear. So you got two options. I hope they work out well. I'm going to try them out because I do have my my little my little Timu nails that I just got. Where are they? I left them right here. There they are. My little Halloween Timu nails, the little short ones. Let me see. So I'm going to try those and see how they go, okay? Now, I did get the um, Scotty's Triple Soft with Aloe. These are three layer 54 um, tissues. I liked the box and I know it has Aloe and you know, it's everybody and their mother starting to get sick. It's, it's better to have it here at home than not to have it. It's just to be ready for it. And then of course the bigger, you know, my go-to for the kitchen for the kitchen table we use these instead of um, regular napkins it's just you know easier for us then i did buy two more of the pace mild they still had those so i got two more of those because we've gone through three already <laughs> we got the three of them already and i got another of the prairie farms whole chocolate milk because my kiddos love this so each time i see it i'm gonna pick one up yeah, I'm going to pick one up because they like it. And it's okay for, to, for them to have some chocolate milk. Well, that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was lots of great things that you can use for the home. Things to craft. Things for the kitchen. And things for home decor. So I hope you subscribe. Become a part of this family. Talk to you later. Bye.